it. You ought to know, cop. You've got steel balls, but no brains. <laughs> What is up everybody, Mr. Slipcover Bullet Blake. I am back with another blue review and today's is the VSA release of 1992's Talons of the Eagle. This one was directed by Michael Kennedy, stars Jalal Murray and Billy Blanks and it is exactly what you expect it to be. It is a martial arts film with some cop background. Um, these cops are possibly, I mean they're gen generally like really bad at their job it seems in the beginning of the movie but like it, it picks up and it's just a buddy it's it's your typical buddy cop film that basically pins these two people from opposite ends one's from America one's from Canada and I think Billy Blanks is the DEA agent and they're trying to investigate a crime hey DEA guys are not authorized to carry weapons in Canada you tell the bad guys that first. So he goes to Canada to investigate it, and I don't know what it was about the 90s with this whole, like, tournament thing that, like, the early 90s seemed to have a lot of movies, martial arts movies based around, like, a tournament. And this one is no different. It starts off with them trying to infiltrate this tournament to win favor with the bad guy that they're investigating. And, like... It is what it is, you know, like, I don't know if this is one of the better VSAs. I'd say it's more towards the bottom for me. It does have some really cool choreography in there. This really cool weapons, especially the, the like butterfly knives type thing. It's, it's chock full of shitty one-liners, like... You're right, I do have steel balls. And also... I hate paperwork. Definitely like New York. But overall, like, I feel the movie does what it intended to do, and if you're into martial arts films, which I have... I've stated several times on here before that I'm it's it's not really my cup of tea. I'm not like super into martial arts films. But I do like buddy cop movies. I do like crime thrillers. I do like that type of stuff. This one just pushes it to a degree of corniness that I just couldn't relate to. Like I there's a scene in there where they're like training an eagle claw and I found myself like chuckling more at the at the sequences than like I know they were meant to incite like some sort of level of intensity And I just found more hilarity out of it. But if you're a martial arts fan, I feel like you're you're probably gonna enjoy it a lot more than I did. You know, to each their own. I would rate this one at a five out of ten. I'm not saying it's the worst worst VSA. If he can't scare you to death, you're dead already. <laughs> But I, I, I'm not saying it's a, a really a good one. It's not one that I intend on rewatching, at least not anytime soon, unless I'm like really in the mood. Like maybe I'll pull a double feature with TC2000 in this, but personally I, I feel TC2000 is, is more rewatchable than this one. I don't know if I'd say it's better, but as far as the Billy Blanks VSAs go, I would definitely say I'd prefer TC2000 over that. Not. Not that it's that much better, it's just I enjoy that movie more. It is what it is. This this is a VSA and that is what I 
got invested in the label for to begin with was for these VSAs. I, I just can't help myself. I will buy them all until they stop making them. It's just the way it is. But I don't know if I'd suggest this unless you're a martial arts fan. Unless you're a martial arts fan. As far as special features go, I think there is one one real special feature. I mean, there's a commentary track and it's got the trailer on here. But the only real special feature in this is Blood, Blades, and Blanks, which is a making of documentary, which is really cool. It does have Jalal Murray in it. It does have Billy Blanks in it. It's got Matthias is in there. The uh, stunt double is in there. It's it's really cool. I mean, you can tell that these guys just have like a great bond and a great relationship, and it makes sense for them to be to to want to work together. It's cool. To, it, it's just always cool to me to watch these with these actors who get to look back on the movies that they made and like reminisce in a positive light over what they did in the 90s for the straight to video era. Uh, and, and the movie's not all bad. It's just not very good. I mean, that's really all there is to this set. You're, you're getting the box and the poster, but the special features, if you're looking for special features, there's just that one. Um, and I don't know if I'll ever check out the commentary track, so that's up to y'all if you want to do that. But that's all I have for today. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.